for you so you have a general idea of what I'm picking on. I thought the smoke was a bit too much because it's kind of you have a, a well in front then you have smoke behind you know again it's about composition um your um, what it does it flattens the image even more you have a windmill in the back you have a windmill here it's also because you're using a wide lens which makes it even more flat which does in real life as well um it's the same here you have a lot of i guess you want us to look here but you have to ask yourself is this interesting or would you have rather have us looking here because this is taking the attention it's the brightest spot basically so you would have probably pushed the light here i would have maybe had less fire and not hide whatever is going behind there and make it less smoky probably personally these two are very identical it's a subtle color change but more or less it's more identical so i would probably not have kept both of them there uh your color is very saturated this is fine but you can also play a little bit with the color. It's all over the place in terms of what I say. The screen is very similar. And what it happens, it flattens your image because you are using a bit of fog. You have smoke effect, which is very expensive. I don't know if you were going to get away with this much effect. So that's a different thing as well to keep in mind uh, in terms of a normal game production setting. Um, this is a very expensive uh, scene. Uh, let's see, 15 minutes. It's very evenly bright, everything. Uh, again, here you would have probably, I would have considered. You have clipboard. But for me personally, in, in this example, I would have not have it all bright everywhere, probably. I would have maybe darkened it a little bit, some areas, you know, make it a bit dark. And this side, probably. Uh, I like that it's already dark, so I will probably push that a little bit more. Actually, I wouldn't because it's closer to the light source, which is why I'm picking on this side a bit more. It makes more sense to um, kind of go darker uh, on this side, and then it goes more sense to me anyway. Brighten this a little bit up, and then actually spread it out a little bit. You guys are very afraid of. So do you have split lighting here? doesn't make sense why doesn't it make sense to me it's just how real light works i don't see the light source but this one is really bright and it still reaches its face there's some difference in color this one is right next to it and for some reason is darker on this side and you know it's dark here and so on so there's some discrepancy for me when it comes to understanding how light works the distance the placement of the light the composition of everything so i would definitely have considered working on it i would probably this i mean there's always so many different advice to give isn't it so let's take it with a grain of salt uh, at this case i would probably have considering i don't see any light source i would probably have gone more dramatic Probably, you know, really just, I don't know, dark on this side, you know, dramatic, and then go on a bit more um, brighter on this side, I suppose, you know, something like this. Again, it's a very quick paint over because I have to go as well. Uh, Makes sense? I have to look at the chat for this. Uh, cool. Um, you're still there, hopefully you're still there, Daniel, because obviously um, this is for you. Okay. You submitted this for the challenge. Let's gonna look at the video. It's, it's again, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of light everywhere. Don't be afraid to, you know, 
do some changes with this. I don't know why people are uh, afraid of this. But again, here I would have maybe even try playing with things you can see by the graph. Okay. Like so. And then I would have gone um, probably focal point. I would probably make this the focal point. So that means I would have tried making this brighter. Okay. And then I would probably do some changes with the color choice. like this and then i will probably desaturate the look a little bit because it's supposed to be a bit more dramatic so you get a more realistic look like this okay so for comparison before after okay to me this looks better but you don't have to agree but that's my opinion uh, so far uh and yeah so a general feedback, uh, it's really the same thing everywhere here. Either you have too dark or you're too flat in your lighting, according to me anyway. Uh, but, you know, I do like this, but this is super bright. And I'm, but other than that, it's pretty cool. I would probably have gone a little bit fun. You know, I would have had a little bit more comfortable fun here as well. And I'm being very quick with you. Uh, hopefully it's still helpful doing more but quick quicker for you uh am i using the mouse at this stage it's a bit too much don't be afraid to have this kind of bleed out a little bit you know it's always a little bit fun to kind of have some detail subtly available okay it's not too much you know it's just a little bit because you have stuff going on don't be afraid to consider doing this brighter you know because it's moon night i would have done that too probably cool okay uh i think that's everyone online right cool hopefully that's useful uh, and hopefully um, people learned a little bit from that. And um, thanks for tuning in. Um, leave a like, uh, leave a subscribe skip, subscription if you haven't already. And as usual, uh, for those who are new to the channel, we do have a mentorship. So uh, 